my ear that you want some more and I Jizz in my pants <laughs> Smell like Prince Diamond was extra happy that day <laughs> I just love how they're so far into the future and they are so te technologically advanced that he could step on Jupiter's face Eh, 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 I'm stepping on your face! Step on your face, Jupiter! <laughs> I know that scene from like big where they're dancing on that large piano just comes into mind. I don't know, there's like so many possible jokes. It's like, hey Jupiter! <laughs> so yeah, this is Jupiter's episode. Uh, Perth's the third sister to go out and do her doing is spreading a plague. And that's the like, most diabolical plan now that I think about it. Like just make everybody sick. And then when their fever gets up to a point where they can't move, kill them and replace them. Who knows, maybe I'm not the real Robin. Did you ever think of that? We're all part of the Black Moon family now. Nah, it's not like I, uh, it's not like I got sick or... You saw nothing. Notice me, Diamond Senpai. <laughs> That's a nice little episode to get to learn more about Makoto. I like how you can see a picture of her parents and sad to hear about what happened to them. You never did hear about their parents in the original show. It was just, you know, uh, Usagi's parents and Ray had a grandpa. That was it. You never hear anything about Ami's parents, Makoto's parents, Minako's parents. You don't hear any of that. Okay, Professor Tomo counts, but he was he was a villain, and but he was Sailor Saturn's dad, but yeah. And I like how reality gets into the whole superhero thing where it's like you think you can keep a an alias or double identity a secret when you're having a conversation in a cafe with a talking cat Luna don't be that stupid people are gonna be like behind you at another table be like is that a talking cat? are they sailor scouts? don't be that stupid Luna wait wait till you get home to talk to Mamoru and Uzagi you got like a fort you know, go to Mamoru's house, Usagi's house, go to any of their houses, go to your secret base and talk. Don't talk in a cafe. I mean, it's sweet at all like, for that one guy to show that he cares for Makoto, but I think he's only there for that one instance. I don't think he has a purpose after this. It's been a while since I've read this, but I don't think that kid's coming back ever again. So it's like, that was pointless. That kid was freaking pointless. But I guess it did address the fact that like you gotta be careful when you're talking in cafes. Because people will know you're a sailor scout. It's, it's, it was nice to see a character, you know, learn about their secret and saying that he'll protect them and like trying to comfort her when she's sick and like it shows that they're not alone, you know, just talk to people. You've got friends who are there to help you and all and... I'm just as mad too, Neff, right? There, there's your woman right there. She kissed the boy. Younger. It's like she doesn't even miss you at all. Seriously, you've got the Imperial Silver Crystal. Use it. Bring them back. I mean, come on. The crystals broke in the manga as well, but hey yo, hey yo, where? There they are. Hey yo, hey boys, they come back. They should be back in the next episode. Yay! This is Minako's chapter. Yeah, this is Minako's chapter. So in the next episode, generals! If you don't put the generals in, eh. <laughs> Not that I have a, you know, issue. Now that it's me, said bye! It's gonna be a bitch to rub out. That's one thing I noticed, like with the first part of Salem Crystal, they kept the generals alive a lot longer. What's wrong with keeping the Akashi sisters alive longer? You are dispensing them like they're tissue. It shows that Sailor Moon's strong, but their barriers are stronger so that the enemy, enemy can just go right in and snatch away the Sailor Scouts. But it's like, it's funny how like the generals were so easily disposed of in the first series, in the original series. They were just like, you failed me for the last time, poof. And the sisters, they were able to be rescued. They were able to live their lives in the modern day Tokyo with the girls. But in this one, the generals get more of a spotlight where they're kept alive a lot longer to the point where the scouts are actually able to save them before <laughs> that. But 
but here it's say, ha, 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 I am here to dispose of you. <laughs> the end. I'm still missing the whole like Senshi versus sisters thing. But here it's like, tissue, tissue, tissue. I mean, it just brings back to the whole like what she wanted to do in the first place. Like she wanted to keep the generals alive a lot longer back then, but couldn't. So she used Crystal as an outlet to keep the generals alive a lot longer. But here it's like, yep, she really had no point for the Akashi sisters other than just to trap the other scouts and die. Fight for the cause! Prince Daimondo will always remember you and his art. You, see, you saw a lot of character development between Asagi and Chibi Usa, how they're alike, and how they're trying everything they can to cheer each other up. Like, oh, there's Chibi Usa, she's missing her mom and dad like crazy. Usagi is losing a friend one after the other. And they're both freaking scared and nervous, and that's why they're backlashing at each other. At least here it makes sense. Like, back in the original show, it didn't really make any sense because it's like, you kiss Mama chan, I hate you forever! But here, they are so scared and just so shooken up over what's going on that of course they're gonna yell at each other, of course they're gonna say irrational things because they are scared and you can see that. Both in this hopeless situation, they're just trying to cheer each other up, so... Like, I like that point in the episode, I like Makoto's backstory. But again, that boy is pointless. He likes Makoto, but... Yeah, and certain somebody. Sir, dude, man, I'm sorry. Not right. I'm I'm sorry, man. Hey, at least your girlfriend didn't hook up with another sailor scout like Mars and Venus did. Oh, I think I just pissed off Kunzai and Jedi. Sorry, boys. I don't know what to say. I really don't. <laughs> My husband just texted me. You know how I feel like Us I know I'm getting off topic, but you know how I feel like Usagi sometimes? Like, on my 24th birthday, I told you guys my husband gave me a single stand rose for my birthday and I, I felt like he was my tuxedo mask. But when he sends me a text message... <laughs> oh, pfft, dang it, phone, you failed me for the last time. He calls me bun. He calls me bun. <laughs> I don't think he even knows that Mamoru calls Usagi Bun from time to time. Like in the manga, he did a lot. Like, Bun. I'm like, yeah. I miss Usagi and he's my mama chan. <laughs> so far, it was a really good episode with Chibusa and Usagi, with Mamoru and Makoto. I swear that boy is pointless. But I'm gonna have to like reread all these manga again to see if he ever shows up in the manga. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but I think that's like the last time you see him. So you were pointless. And the yeah, Aikashi sisters are just now tissue, just like the generals were in the original series. Thank you guys so much for watching all of these vloggy vlogs. Hopefully we're gonna get some more Sailor Moon Crystal with S, Super S, and Stars. Hopefully we're gonna get to the generals in the next episode. <laughs> Coming up soon will be more reviews. Uh, our next top 10 list should be top 10 manga that should have been an anime. I swear, since Parasite got its own anime, we're just like, you can do this one now. It's never too late now, because Parasite's like a 30-year-old manga that got an anime. No hard feelings. No, it is me, senpai. I'm done with that now. Yeah, more awesome videos are on the way, so thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America. Play it one more time. Whisper in my ear that you want some more, and I jizz in my pants. <laughs> Hey, we got a website. You should check it out. Link is in the description box down below. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, so follow us. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to Anime America Podcast for more awesome reviews. If you're interested in anything of pop culture, check out our other awesome channel, Pop Spectrum. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America.